behind the camera and as you can see I'm pointing up at the light socket that I was talking about earlier. Now from your perspective the two light bulbs on the right are the LED ones and the two on the left are the halogen ones. Um, at first glance you probably can't notice any difference neither can I and if I just move a little closer and I come round the other side here we go two halogen light bulbs wander across two LED light bulbs again two halogens two LED now I don't know about you but I certainly can't notice any difference and if I just come back and I show you the lighting around my kitchen I struggle to see much difference in the amount of light given off by each bulb. Um, to me, the, the LEDs are perfectly usable. They work just as well as halogens. And to be honest, at just seven watts, they save you a ton of electricity at the same time. Um, I also want to just highlight, I don't know if you're better to see, but I've had four halogen light bulbs in here before. And I don't, can you just see that in front, or just above, sorry, each of the light fittings, there are slightly dark patches. Now, this is because the halogens produce a lot of heat and they effectively burn your ceiling ever so slightly. And with the LEDs, they won't do this. The LEDs are very cool to touch. Even after usage, they're not too bad. You, you know, you're not gonna burn yourself by touching it. Um, so it's another good reason to get them. And yeah, overall, I would say I'm very happy with the LEDs. Now, I'll just put the uh, camera back on the tripod and I'll finish this video up for you. So, LED light bulbs, should you get them? Um, now, I've done a few little calculations of my own as a bit of a mass geek um, in terms of how much I could save if I changed all of my halogen light bulbs to LED light bulbs. Now here in the kitchen, like I said, you've got four light bulbs. In my hallway, I've got another four, and in my bathroom, I've got three. Now, at the moment, because it's winter, the light bulbs here in my kitchen are probably on for, say about one and a half hours a day, whilst I'm cooking, eating, and washing up, and cleaning, and that sort of thing. Um, the four in my hallway are probably on for just a handful of minutes each day, whilst the three in my bathroom, I would guess somewhere around 45 minutes a day. Now obviously, when it's a bit lighter outside in the spring and the summertime, the ones here in the kitchen won't be on so much. Um, the ones in the bathroom, however, will be on at the same amount of time every day because there's very little natural light in there. Um, if you take typical winter's day and, average, and take that and average that out over the whole year, I reckon you'd save about £17 a year, uh, well in my case £17 a year on my electricity bill. Obviously with spring and summer, it's lighter outside, 
that will come down quite a lot. So I'm going to say maybe 10 to 11 pounds per year is what I can save. But if you average that out over 25 years, which is what they reckon you can run these light bulbs for uh, on av average, um, that's a Panasonic average, um, that's actually quite a big saving. Not to mention the fact that you're having to replace the bulbs um, instead of every two years on average, every 25 years. So overall, I think that not only is it good for the environment, I think it can save you a whole heap of cash. Um, if you want to try and work out roughly how much, Panasonic have got what they call their savings package on their website. And you just go along, you say how many spotlights you have, how many hours do they run on average, um, and what is your current wattage, like mine, halogens are 50 watts, so you can get 35 watt bulbs as well. And then you hit the calculate button and it will say over one year you'll save this much or you can change it so it says over 25 years you'll save this much. Um, I think you might be quite surprised. Now obviously the initial outlay for LED light bulbs is on the high side at the moment. Um, they can cost you eight, nine, ten pounds or I actually looked at the Panasonic ones and they're a little bit more expensive, I guess, because they branded it. Um, so if you've got a lot of um, light bulbs, if you've got a lot of halogen light bulbs in your house or flats, then it, the initial outlay can be a little bit high. Um, but I wouldn't let that stop you. If you can afford to, then do it. So over the long term, you will save money and you'll save electricity and you'll pump fewer greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere and you know, everybody wins. Um, so yeah, that's my advice. Buy LED light bulbs if you can afford it. Uh, that's all from me. I'll see you next time. Ciao.